Um, today we're going to be doing a like read through of a book that we've been working on, and uh, Morgan's going to be doing it. The first chapter, of course. Oh, well, I'll start reading. The table was filled with delicious food, desserts, and drinks. There was a sudden knock on the door, interrupting their yummy feast. At the door was a handsome young man. He was wearing a suit and glasses. He cleared his throat. I heard that a princess lived here, the man said, said the man. Yes, I am she, the princess, the princess Isabel said softly. Oh, well, I brought these for you, the man exclaimed holding out a bouquet of roses. Thank you, thank you, said the princess, taking the roses. But as soon as she touched the roses, black and gray, black and gray smoke f fog swirled around her, and she heard the man laughing. He said, day and night, you shall wait for your grand night to arrive. Uh, Isabel spread across the papers like wildfire. The newspaper spread. Isabel, Princess Isabel, vanished on Friday night. Our beloved princess vanished. She seems have been looking all over for her, but have found nothing except for a pile of rose petals. Um, here's the picture of the man. And then... This is just another part of the newspaper. Barbara Whittle last parted. Wanted Barbara Whittle last parted June 14th, 1920. Murdered 10 people and got away. Please report her to the President of the United States of America immediately. Max picked up the newspaper and almost cried. Max was Isabel's best friend, and even though Max wasn't rich, he still loved Isabel. The first time they met, Max had been stuck in a hole, and luckily she helped him up, and they beca became best friends. Max wasn't just gun. Go Max wasn't just going to let his best friend be alone and lost without anyone. So he packed his things and headed on his way. First, he went through. He went to the site where she disappeared. Max started at the little pyre, stared at the little pyre of roses on the wood floors. He saw a piece of paper, white paper bored in the patch of rose petals. He picked it up. On the paper, it had a poorly drawn map and it had a poorly drawn map. Of course, Matt had to see where it went, so he went to the beginning of the map that had palm trees. So, of course, Max went to the nearby beach, and he found a tunnel le leading all the way to the other side. Max headed into the narrow tunnel. That's the end of chapter one, guys. Chloe's going to read the next chapter. If you want to see more, then you'll have to come back next time to see what happens to Isabel and her night, Max.